Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to this course. So today's video we're going to be talking about light mode and dark mode and by the end of it we're going to implement something like this where our entire app can go light mode and dark mode. Cool, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so as always we're going to go through the documentation. Now unfortunately we don't need to go through the entire thing. Uh, the link to this is in the description down below. But uh, the amount that we're going to be going through is not that much. So basically we need to find something called color scheme um, which is this versions of Mad Times um, which is this version of Mad Time's ability to be able to change light mode or dark mode. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, the way that we can use light mode or dark mode by default in our app is in the Mad Time provider. We can just give it a default color scheme, well, which we already did in the last tutorial. Um, but in this one, we got to figure out how to actually on click of a button to make it light mode or dark mode. I don't know, my, it hurts my eyes whenever I see it like this. But anyways, um, so... We're gonna be using something called Use Mantine Color Scheme. It already comes with a bunch of props already built into it, uh, such as Color Scheme, which is light, auto, or dark, uh, setting the color scheme, toggling the color scheme, and clearing the color scheme. And it's really easy to use, honestly. All you have to do is import it, set uh, the hook, and basically just use it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and get started. Okie dokie, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is within the top of our app.tsx file, which is our, can be considered as our parent, uh, we're going to be importing two things. We're going to import use mantine color scheme and use compu computed color scheme from mantine core. Now, since we already have that import, we're just going to put it right in there like so. There we go. And then the way that we're going to be using it is we need to create two variables. So we're going to do one is going to be const set color scheme, which is equal to use mantine, mantine color scheme. And then we're going to do another const computed color scheme is equal to use computed color scheme equal to light. Beautiful. And then finally, we're going to create a function that is basically going to be toggling back and forth. Uh, so const toggle color scheme is equal to function set color scheme. So this right here, we're going to check computed color scheme. I don't know why I said computer, computed color scheme. There we go which is going to be it's going to check if it's dark. If it's dark, then switch it to light. Else switch it back to dark. So on the run uh, on function run, it's going to check if it's equal to dark. If it's equal to dark, then change it to light. If it's equal to light, then change it to dark and vice versa. And then all we have to do is we just have to use it within our button. So last tutorial we actually created a button that would toggle back and forth between FA Moon and FA Sun. So the way that we're going to be using this is we're going to give this an on click of toggle color scheme. And then instead of FA Moon, we're just going to do color scheme, sorry, computed color scheme is triple equal to dark. So if it's equal to dark, then show FA Sun. If it's equal to sun, then show FA moon, like so. And by the way, uh, the way that we have FA sun and FA moon, we actually have to install something called npm i react dash icons. Um, but I'm already assuming we already have that since you're following along with the previous tutorials. But if you don't have it, just go ahead and install it, like so. Perfect. And we also put a default color scheme as well uh, as set as dark. Cool. So now let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. So we have our entire app shell, everything. We click this, toggles back and forth between light mode, dark mode. I'm going to keep it at dark mode because my eyes have been adjusted through evolution now. That if I look at dark light mode, it visibly hurts. Awesome. So that's pretty much about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.